How you doing? Um, as you know, or as you partly know anyway, I changed around my monitor and everything else. Because uh, I had originally had a 4K monitor, I sold that. And I ended up getting a new one. Which is currently here. It's just arrived. So what I'm going to do is crack it open. So as you can tell, Crack this open. So, this is the Wasabi Mango one. Yeah. Oh my god, it was packed pretty well, which was great, by the way. Power supply. Oh my God. So this is the Wasabi Mango QHDs 277. Obviously the power supply with it. As you can see. Provided cables and everything else. There's even audio cables. <sighs> Anything I might do is grab another, because I, I should have another one of these in the other types of power cords anyway. So I'll be going to go manual. Put that there. Oh my god. Well, let's see. We can actually get this out using the other context. The phone was a little bit damaged, but nothing too major. He's hoping I think everything's good on it. Looks okay. The monitor itself looks fine. There was a little bit of a crack on the edge on the other on the phone here, but I think it should be okay. I don't see any major issues with it for the moment. Panel itself looks in pretty pristine condition. It did say this is an off-grade panel, so there might be maybe one or two scratches. Nothing major on it, but yeah, that's cool. Not a problem. No, otherwise it looks pretty pristine. I used to have one of these before, so or a similar one. I had a crossover. What I might do, I've 
I've got to set it up anyway. As you can see, a number of different ports. You've got display port, HDMI, DVI, audio in and out. So, as you can see, also provided components and everything else and stuff of that nature, so it should be alright. Uh, I'll set it up, I'll get everything set up and see how I go, and I'll do a video of it actually working. So, yep. Alright, okay. Alright, I'll leave it there then, YouTube, not a problem. Gotcha. Well, hello, YouTube, how you doing? Um, so, yeah, I've tested everything out. Did, did a couple of tests here and there just with a few games and stuff. All my games are pretty much launching now. I'm on SLI. Now, as I said, I mean, I didn't think it would. Well, actually, I was, I was pretty sure it was going to make a relative amount of difference if I um, if I did go back to 1440p. I don't know. Just generally speaking, it's just better for the just better in the long run. So. Not too bad. Sorry, my neck. Have a look anyway. So there you go. As you can see, I don't know whether you can actually see it, but my gaming experience has definitely increased. My load times have, been, have gone exponentially better. I mean, okay, I know. I mean, I know some things don't necessarily work out in 4K or whatever, or things of that nature. Um, I'm gonna try. I, 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 I tried quite a few games. Um, there's a couple of games I couldn't even get to load before when I was trying to load things on 4K properly. Like, I don't know. As I, say, I, I don't know. I do feel there is a there is a problem with the drivers, obviously, and it's for four. It's mostly related to 4K, and I'm guessing because of the fact that I had a 4K monitor at the time, it was a lot more substantial and easy to see. So let me see. Um, there we go. So I'm just going to load up a game. Now, as I said, I did have problems with this before with the newest driver. The, now, I'm now, I'm now back on the latest driver for NVIDIA. Uh, I did do a clean install. I did the exact same thing when I was on 4K, but it didn't seem to make much of a difference on 4K. Also, recordings have become a little bit better in the sense that I'm able to record and it's not as... doesn't seem as... I guess you could say unstable. Um, frame rates are more stable, from what I can tell. So, yeah. Um... Let's see. Okay. So, I don't know if you can actually see that. As I say, I mean, basically my frame rates are a lot better than they used to be, and they're just, they're not as, they don't feel as crappy. And the game still looks good. I mean, 1440p is still a good resolution. It's not a shitty resolution by any means. So, I mean, as I said, my 2770s don't seem to have a big issue driving this type of re uh, resolution. And this is the main... It, it's, it's a bit more to get the time out of my card, I guess, you know, in combination of that. So, not, the card, not my card. Get, get more... Um, yeah, I guess you could say get more time out of my cards. Basically, to get a little more um, bang for my buck, as it were. So, I mean, not too bad. The screen itself, not too bad quality. Pretty, pretty reasonable quality. Uh, I got like a glass paneling he thing here, which I, I've had similar to these these screens before. I had a crossover before, if I remember correctly. Not too bad. It is a little dark, but. When they specified what the panel was, they said it wasn't a grade A, like it was an off-grade panel. So, you know what, I'm not majorly miffed, it still works. My resolutions are nice, it still looks good. 
I mean it doesn't look shitty by any means and it feels good and the sense of resolution has, has become a got just a lot better in the long term holy shit hmm fucker anyway but that's it's a pretty much it's a combination of that so what I've ended up doing so I tested a few games out, I tested the GTA out as well. GTA is nice. Not just stable for memory, but it's a lot faster than it used to be. Um, way faster, to be honest. As you can see... Blur out a bit, but... But, I mean, as I said, I'm not complaining too much, it's not too bad. Looks pretty realistic, looks pretty nice. The picture-in-picture -picture feature isn't that great uh, on this Korean version. It's okay, get, don't get me wrong, it's not as if it's really shitty or anything like that, but it's not perfect either. I mean, there's a couple of settings in most of the time I have to reset and stuff like that. The picture-in-picture -picture thing wasn't a major gripe. I mean, I can sort of sub things off to the side on my 1080p monitor, uh, so that's not a big issue. Um, this running, running this on the Xbox, I'll just move it up to the setting. I actually run, I can run my Xbox off this screen. And unfortunately it's disconnected from... <laughs> disconnected. Okay, disconnect. Unfortunately it's disconnected from... Uh... Oh, wow. Son of a bitch, really. I don't know, my internet was being a little bit of a pain in the ass, I guess. So sorry, <laughs> I have to restart it. But I can I can run my Xbox off this screen, and it doesn't look too bad too bad to be honest. I mean I could run it directly off that one too. I mean either one either one of them they both got the same interface. They've both got HDMI on them. So <sighs> really, and for some reason I'm having problems trying to connect to my Xbox now. <laughs> Fucking fantastic. <laughs> well that's that's something I can fix in time anyway. But yeah, no, I mean, the Xbox doesn't look too bad, as you can see. The response time of the Xbox is pretty good, so I'm not complaining too much. Alright, anyway, that's my sort of unboxing slash look at video, so well, I'll go in depth into it in a little bit more and see how I go, so... As I said, it, it was cheap and it was an off-grade panel, but I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look too bad. I'm not complaining too much about the look of it. It looks quite nice, so it's alright. Okay, catch you YouTube. Bye.